Tonight, newly released police body cam video is shedding more light on what happened moments before Elk Grove Village Police opened fire on a man outside his home earlier this month. CBS 2's Andrew Ramos spoke with the family's attorney who maintains the man was in mental distress. He's worse tonight in the newsroom. Andrew? Well, Joe, we're told the family of Jack Murray could only bear to watch the first two minutes of this body cam video that shows his final moments. An attorney representing the family tells us what the footage shows. Responding officers did not do much to de-escalate the situation. Now we should warn you some of the footage we are about to show you may be disturbing to some viewers. Tell me exactly what happened. Uh, there's somebody acting erratic with a knife. It began with this phone call being made to police on the afternoon of December 1st. That caller, now believed to be 24 year old Jack Murray, who appears to be in distress, slurring his speech. Do you know this person's name? Jack. That's who has a knife? I don't want to approach the house yet. I want to see if they can get out of the house. Multiple officers with the Elk Grove Village Police Department arrived to the home with a plan to get yeah. everyone inside the home, including Murray's parents, to come out. But it quickly unravels when Jack Murray emerges from the house with a knife in hand. Jack, put your hands up, Jack! Hands up, Jack! Put your hands up! He's gonna get himself tased. Murray appears not to comply as he continues to approach officers, who then deploy a taser which has little to no effect, then lethal force is used. This was somebody who needed medical help, not police, not police intervention. Calling it an edited montage to fit their narrative, Murray family attorney Antonio Ramanucci says the body cam does not tell the whole story, noting that the approach used by officers with someone they knew has left the family unnerved. They knew who Jack was. So they knew they were approaching someone who had problems. Jack was not okay. In a video statement that was also released Monday, Elk Grove Village Mayor Craig Johnson insists crisis intervention, mental health, and de-escalation training were utilized in the incident. 